Of course, the MSM across the Atlantic have weighed in behind Kamala Harris, who they have now decided is the second coming, despite being probably the most incompetent uh, vice president in recent American history. But Megyn Kelly has put forward a theory that actually the VP is the Meghan Markle. Kamala Harris is a bully who's pushed out or made life intolerable for virtually every person who's come to work for her in the White House. She's the Meghan Markle of the administration. She People can't work for her. She's a nightmare. What do you make of that, Charlie Sanson? Well, you know, I think that all the support that Kamala Harris has been given over the past few days um, is completely BS. I mean, I don't believe anyone wants her to run as president. Do I think she's a bully? I don't know. I'm not. I. I don't really. She doesn't come across that way to me. She comes across as somebody quite amiable, quite friendly, um, but clueless. She just seems clueless, and and that's got, saying something compared to Joe Biden. And I would say she'd be worse than Joe Biden. Charlie Downs, what do you reckon? I mean, there have been loads of reports during her time as VP that she is very much like Meghan Markle, really difficult to work for. Loads of staff have left her office and maybe puts on a nice front in public. But actually, what Meghan Kelly was saying was much more accurate in terms of what sort of woman she really is. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, I, I don't I'm not hugely interested in Kamala Harris, to be honest. I don't find her particularly remarkable, so I don't think about her very much. Um, what I do think is interesting about what's happened over the last week with Biden and uh, Harris coming in to sort of fill his shoes is, is, is it, I don't know, I, I hesitate to give the Democrats this much credit, but I actually think they've played a blinder with this one, because I think what they're doing, if, you know, if they are as uh, intelligent and Machiavellian as I'm giving them credit for, um, what they've done is they have uh, gotten rid of Biden. And they have installed somebody who is so unelectable, the only politician more unelectable than Biden in his stead, because they know that they've already lost this election. They know that Trump is going to win. I think it's basically inevitable at this point, especially in the wake of the assassination attempt and all the rest of it. And so what they've done is they've recognized this fact and they've uh, chosen uh, two people, two faces, Biden and Harris, who do represent this very, very bizarre period of American politics where things were just it's just been crazy. It's been a crazy four years in America. It feels almost like a dream state. And so if they can sink down all of that stuff from COVID to BLM to Ukraine, if they can sink it all down with Biden and Harris and start afresh after the election, I think that's great politics. It's really good. If they could bring in someone like Gavin Newsom, for example, to lead the party and and, uh, kind of represent a new way, a new vision, a new face of the party, but actually quite similar to what Keir Starmer did to the Labour Party, quite frankly, in the wake of Jeremy Corbyn. I think that that's actually very intelligent. Now, that's not to say that I support them, because obviously I don't. But, you know, just reading the situation as it is, looking at it through a value-free lens, if that's what they're doing, then I commend it. But, you know, I've only promised to talk to you about products on this show that are actually life-changing. This one's a little bit more personal, but the fellas watching are going to completely get it. And let me tell you, ladies, this would be a good one for you to treat your husband or boyfriend too. So men want a grooming routine to be a one and done deal. But the days of using the same trimmer for your face and your private parts are over thanks to our friends at Manscaped. They've come up with the ultimate package to keep your hairs trimmed from 12 to 6. So introducing the Beard and Balls Bundle featuring the Lawn Mower 5.0 and the Beard Hedge. Now I'm not talking about this sort of Lawn Mower, okay? Uh, But actually, if you want to get precision trimming for all areas, even the sensitive ones, and get him as manicured as fish, freshly cut graft, then this is the product for you. So the trimmer gets it right the first time, being gentle on the skin in all your delicate places. And with two interchangeable skin safe blade heads, you can choose between a precise trim or a smooth finish. It's waterproof too, which is great for those of us who appreciate efficiency in the shower. Uh, next up, have to talk about the beard hedger. This is great. Whether you're going for a neat stubble or full on lumberjack look, the trimmer has you covered because it has a titanium coated stainless steel t-blade and this is what i love 20 length options so you can actually achieve any style you want with just a twist of the zoom wheel and just like the lawnmower the beard hedger is also waterproof so you can handle your beard grooming right in the sink or shower without worrying about water damage with up to 60 minutes of runtime and an led charge in case you'll never be caught mid-trim with a dead battery it's genuinely 
such a gentle product no more cuts you'll keep your loved one very happy and if you're a bloke using this product will really increase your confidence i've got a great deal for you today you can get 20 percent off and free shipping can you believe that just use the code outspoken at manscaped.com no more juggling multiple tools or dealing with subpar results just efficient effective grooming wherever you need it for the premium grooming experience trust manscaped goodness me i hope you're right but there's real concern now uh, amongst trump's inner circle that actually harris is going to provide much more of a threat and we saw a real change in tone from the donald overnight i think he agreed with you when Biden was still in place that he was going to walk this thing and he was going to change his language and become much more of a unifier, uniter. But at this rally last night, with Kamala now as the uh, sort of presumptive nominee, really, I mean, she's got it, uh, he totally changed tack. Watch this. You know, I was supposed to be nice. They say... Something happened to me when I got shot. I became nice. <laughs> and when you're dealing with these people, they're very dangerous people. When you're dealing with them, you can't be too nice. You really can't be. So if you don't mind, I'm not going to be nice. Is that OK? You want me to be nice. See, to me, Charlie Sanson, that is a worried Trump. Do you think so? I think this is just Trump going back to type. Trump has always taken shots at people. And I think, um, well, I can't wait to see the kind of comments he makes with regards to Kamala Harris in the upcoming election. Um, you know, some of his highlights in the past are just astronomically funny. I mean, they're unbelievable. And I can't wait to see what happens. I don't think he's worried whatsoever. I think he's calm. I think he's actually rather settled at the prospect of actually having a challenge. Charlie Downs, we are being gaslit, especially Americans, by the MSM at the moment, who are literally lying over Kamala Harris. But I don't know, do you not think there is a certain power in that sort of ability to try and create Kamala as this uh, great progressive hero? Or do you think they're making the same mistake as they made with Hillary Clinton? back in 2016, where actually there was a real disconnect between the polls and the celebrity endorsements and actually how real Americans felt. I do think it's different because it seems to me that the most powerful elements of the kind of regime that governs uh, America and the West more generally, to be honest, they seem to see the writing on the wall about Trump and they seem to be making their peace with the fact that Trump is coming back because the, the level of hysteria in 2016 is unlike anything I've seen before or since. I mean, around Trump, I mean, it was it was madness. They were actually losing their minds around him. But the same thing isn't happening this time around. They seem to be a lot more... Um, like I say, they've made their peace with the fact that Trump is going to be president again. Um, and I think, again, those people who occupy the highest positions of authority within the power structure that governs America, they're not stupid people. Like As much as we'd like to think that they're all idiots, there are actually some extremely intelligent people within uh, the ruling class of America. And those people, I think, are thinking in the way that I was talking about before, which is they recognize that Kamala Harris... Uh, to, to the vast majority of Americans is extremely unpalatable and unlikable. And uh, she just, just comes across as a as a kind of ditzy kind of wine on who seems, I mean, there's been footage of her in the past where it's looked like she's drunk um, and she's quite sort of, she's been very condescending to people and this sort of thing. So she's a very un unpalatable character. And so I think that they are, um, you know, looking at Trump as being the next president and they're just trying to make the best of that kind of situation. The two Charlies, Charlie Downs and Charlie Sansom, my superstar panel. Great to have you both here today. Thank you so much for watching Dan Wharton Outspoken. Please do subscribe if you want lots more clips and interviews like that. Plus, if you want to watch our totally uncensored after show, then visit www.outspoken.live.